So this is the pest management tray on my beehive. I haven't checked it for quite a few weeks. Um, so lots of oil in there obviously. Um, there's a big droplet there, I believe that's water. Right there in the center, I think you can see. Um, there's pollen. I don't see any... There might be a... Like, might be a grub there, which could be hive beetle, but um, it's mostly just dead bees and bee bits and pollen. So yeah, so you should probably should clean this out, especially now it's summer. I should be probably checking it every week. And I, like I said, I've left this for a, a, quite a few weeks. In fact, it's probably been, I think it's probably about a month, or maybe just over a month because uh, my bees haven't been producing much honey. I changed a lot of their frames over, so it'll take them a little while to build up. So yeah, this is pretty normal. So what I'll do is I'll clean this out. I have it sitting over the top of my garden, so I've dug a hole here. So I'm just gonna bury it all in the garden. It'll all break down and I'll put some more plants in here and then of course the plants will feed off the uh, bee material. All right, back in a sec. I've actually a few high beetles in that. So yeah, I'll just bury all that and I'll just re-oil this tray. It's all pretty clean. <coughs> Pardon me. I'll just use an old vegetable oil. I'm pretty lucky. We've got some friends that have old vegetable oil they just give to me. So I just use their old oil. Well, it's not even always old oil. It's sometimes good oil. They just haven't used it. It's good for the bees because it helps collect everything in the bottom. Nice little layer there. Put a bit more in. So there's droplets as you can see. There's probably a little few water droplets in there. It won't hurt. So the oil does two things, Once, obviously one it kills and it falls in it, but also it attracts hive beetles, because you don't want hive beetles in your, uh, in your hive. Take this over without hopefully not spilling it. And go back over here to the beehive. Back in the bottom of the hive. Keep my little rubber insulation there on the bottom just to stop the bees getting in underneath it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how they go. Well, that's the tray cleaned out. If anybody's never done that before, it's just so you can see what you can do. Um, now I wander back over here. Oops. Step over my little fence to keep my dog out from the bees. And uh, yeah, so we'll go over to this little garden. See there's bits of dead bee in there in there. So let's obviously get my shovel and I'm just gonna bury all that stuff. The mulch, put back over the top. I will have to redo this garden sometime shortly, so 
just cover up all the bees and bits of dead bee. Might as well put it in the garden and you can use it as fertilizer for your plants. It's like throwing your veggie scraps out, whatever you don't use, just you chuck in the bottom of the garden, bury it. You know, old bits of fish bones or chicken bones, <coughs> it all breaks down and becomes fertilizer for your plants. So, you know, I mean, I could easily just throw in all those bees in the bin, but there's nothing in there that can really hurt anything in the ground because whatever's in there is dead and it'll just break down in the soil. There's plenty of uh, earthworms in there, so they'll break everything down, turn into fertilizer for my plants. So cool. We'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Have a good one. So, um, after burying those bees there yesterday, we'll uh, put this celery in that I've been growing in water. It's got a few roots. So we'll plant this here and um, then we'll have a look at those bee trays and see what's going on with the bees. but anyway so it's a celery and then we'll have to water it in the container so we'll just pour that on over the top bees that are buried will break down and turn into food for the plant. Cool. Alright, I'll pop back in a second and we'll have a look at that bee tray. Okay, so back at the hive. Quick squeeze in here. Plenty of activity. Bees are filling up the frames. A few bees in there. So, we'll just pop this tray out and have a look. So, since yesterday we've got a few more dead bees. There's some water droplets in there. And... There's a hive beetle, there's bits of pollen, bits of bee, so yeah, so what I'll do is I'll check this again in a week or so and we'll probably empty it out and redo it. Still trying to work out how many bees are getting in there because it's all sealed up and there's not really any way for them to get in, but anyway, I'll work on that. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.